Hello. It says my live video is starting. So hopefully that's true. I'm going to hop on my phone so that I can maybe monitor and comment. If you join me, please say so. I'll mention that every now and then because <clears throat> you don't hear the beginning of this. This is Mary Lou Foster. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in Sulphur Springs, Texas. And today I wanted to do just a real short catalog walkthrough. The brand new annual catalog went live this week. Alrighty, here I am. And I'm not going to take a lot of time. I just wanted to kind of. And I'm not going to. Yep, not too big of a delay today. If you've never done Facebook Lives before, they can be quite the trip. If you try to monitor, they're behind. So what I wanted to do is point out a few things in the catalog that, honestly, I didn't notice for the longest time. And it's just kind of little things that Stamping Up does that makes it easier to use the catalog. You may notice along the edge here I have tabs. I found these <laughs> colored tabs at Walmart and they almost match our colors. So what I've done is I've gone through and marked the beginning of each section. Like here at the top, if you turn your catalog size sideways, you'll see that there are different color tabs. So that's where they have uh, marked each kind of divided the cards into sections like this is the all occasion the love and thanks hobbies and recreation artistic expression so it makes it a little easier sometimes to find um i didn't mark artistic well i did mark artistic expression so we have one two three maybe four different ones so where i have it opened is the all occasion which we consider like birthday and thank you and sympathy and uh congratulations um what what's kind of cool there are things that have uh moved forward out of the old catalog into the new catalog and then there are brand new things so this one called uh it's a sweet bright and beautiful sweet you it's a bundle whenever they say sweet that means you can buy the bundle the uh, designer series paper this has some um, specialty designer series paper and then there are dies that go with it so i was going to show you right quick um i have finally been able to play with that i don't have a lot of samples made but uh, my stamps let me show you the card we actually made this in my card class last week because it was okay to do sneak peeks with products and you'll notice this uh inspiration card right here i took it and kind of did a spin off i think they die cut uh, the front of their card but i just die cut and layered it on there so this one is really fun. Look at the colors that it coordinates with. You, you've probably heard by now that there was a color refresh. And what I liked about this bundle and suite is they've used a lot of those colors. So this is a great, if you uh, like them and want to use them all, this is a, a really good designer series paper to get the lemon lime twist return pretty peacock return as your afternoon is new blueberry bushel return berry burst return and bubble bath so when i ordered my ink pads somehow or another i overlooked ordering a bubble bath ink pad but i did order the bubble bath stampin blends go figure so it's coming in my next order so that's one of the uh, pre-order sets this also was one the circle saying so uh, it comes with a punch and that punch is two and three eighths inches circle Ugh. 
really handy. You don't have to get up and go to the die cutting machine whenever you want to punch a circle. And of course, then they have sized the stamps to fit that size of the circle. I've been playing with it. I don't have these made into cards. I use the seashell because it's kind of a half you can stamp it end to end to make the circle. Same with these flowers. Let me show you some cards with those. The um, cupcake. So I just sat here with um, the different pieces and just started stamping just to see what it would do. So that one's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I made a sample card. And this card right here I used as my inspiration. That used uh, an embossing folder, and I had to look at it really close. That's the stripes and splatters embossing folder. And then I embellished it with the um, in color, well, they're not in color, adhesive back solid gems. Copper clay, boho blue, and lemon lolly were the colors in this one. Um, I don't really know how come I just pulled that out. Unless it was part of this bundle, but it wasn't. Now oh, that's sweet. I failed to order the in color ones. So, or if I did, I don't know what I've done with them. Uh, do you do that? I do that to myself all the time. So I'm not going to go page by page. I, I want, don't want to just take up your time and bore you to death. I have this bundle coming, the Countryside Inn. Well, the suite, actually. It's got a gorgeous embossing folder. This is one stamp. So it's going to be interesting how this is going to work, but it has all these dies that cut out the different stages of that stamp. And I've seen some really pretty cards with it. But this paper, um, when you look at the layouts over here, uh, what caught my eye, I, kept, I saw this bunny and this fox, and I'm like, where in the world did they get that bunny and that fox? Well, it's on the designer series paper, and they have cut it out by hand so that they could put it on a card. I didn't see a card here where they had actually put those two little animals, but I was intrigued. And then they've used that paper... And apparently there are several sheets that have animals printed on it. So I can't wait to get this one. It's 12 by 12. So, and then they've just used the dies to cut out uh, different pieces of the paper to layer on there to make that really cute card. Put those out of the way. I'll introduce you to the new in colors in just a minute. So I'm in the love, thanks, and support. Um, I hope you are making your list of, this one is really, really pretty. It uses uh, the new in colors, a lot of them. Probably, there's one of them it doesn't use, but Copper Clay, Moody Mauve, Pecan Pie is a new color, and then Pebbled Path is a new in color. So, um, the Earthy Tones are popular and they're going to be more popular as we get closer to fall because I'm already seeing it in clothing if you have noticed a lot of times um, stamping up products are on trend with current um, uh, home decor and clothing colors it's kind of fun so artistic expression the seaside bay you've seen that one wildlife wonder this scenic wonders is just is so pretty um every time i look at the catalog something new jumps out at me and then on the website this um masterfully made designer series paper is shown uh, spread out in a different way and it is gorgeous it's too pretty to cut apart. Uh, masterfully made. It makes me think of the, the Bible verse that we are wonderfully and fearfully made. Alright, so I have marked where the ink and cardstock begins. So that I don't have to sit here and rifle through the pages. So what I wanted to show you about these pages. 
you have your new in colors. Let me introduce you to Pebbled Path. Now let me show you what I did. There is a sheet of paper in the Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper that is a collage type layout. Look at this. And I'm like, oh, you know what? It matches each one of the end colors. So I took it and began to cut it apart, and I had already stamped. I used that circle with the flowers, and then the thank you that was in the circle greetings, circle sayings, to make these cards. How cool is that? And Moody Mauve. Um, I have Moody Mob ribbon. I did not have Pebbled Path yet, so I embellished it with the ribbon. And since I don't have dots, I couldn't use those. This is the Wild Wheat. And for me, because I can't have wheat, I'm just kind of like, really? I have to handle a color called Wild Wheat. But look, those flowers, are they show up so pretty. I don't know, this has a greenish tint to it. And then um, copper clay. I believe copper clay is my favorite with the boho blue because um, they just look so good together. I did have the ribbon. And then this is a different layout. It's the uh, landscape. So I was able to wrap it all the way around. And then I just hid the ends underneath the circle. And boho blue. And what a pretty scene. And remember that stamp set that I mentioned, the scenic? That would be pretty to take and stamp on there. So it's very creative that they did that for us. So those are our new five in colors. I can't wait for you to see them in person. Because for me, I look at them in the catalog. I look at them online. And I'm just like, you yeah, know, that's nice. But then I see it in person. And I'm like, oh my goodness. They don't, it, pictures don't do them justice. So I did skip over the daisy, um, cheerful daisies. That paper, so it's a stamp set called cheerful daisies and then the dies. And I made a little inspiration board with those dies. This was quite fun. Put it on crushed curry. So I took the dies and the ones that could be layered together. I, I'm showing how you can do that without even having to stamp. Now the cool thing about it is um, this flower can be die cut with this background because that's two pieces. So you can stamp that flower. It's the outline and then the part that and colors it in solidly and die cut it which is I did not do that on this card I just cut it out of uh, basic white and then this is the wild wheat that I embellished it with to give it some definition I stamped the center here but I used the die that cut out I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be I think it's maybe the center for this flower that's the only piece I couldn't identify so this piece, you must make sure that your die cutting machine is clean, um, works well, because it's very, very detailed. And I had to run it through like three or four times with a shim before I could get it to cut. That's with my old die cutting machine. But I got out my brand, well not brand new, but my um, stamp and cut machine emboss machine and it worked like a charm to cut this one out because I couldn't get this one cut out either. Lots of details, a uh, little fine, like these are connected together. So um, that one was challenging and I'm seeing cards made with this leaf which makes me think they're just putting like the uh, whatever color under just that part to die cut. I don't know. So oh, here's where you can stamp. And, and then die cut it. It does have this label and these are sized to fit on that label because on mine I did wishing you the brightest birthday. And this is just one of the pieces of the paper and that's a strip of the paper. It's actually the back of this piece. 
So that's, that's a cool way to um, use your scraps, to use them as embellishments or ribbons. So this is really pretty. I just stamped them also in uh, crushed curry. This one I tried stamping in uh, pretty peacock because I couldn't find my garden green. It's still in a kit somewhere, one of my tubs. So cheerful daisies with the paper. It's going to be fun. So now let me show you about our new color collections. There was the color refresh. I believe we had 15 new colors. I'd have to count. And the way they've done it, they've assigned them to a family like the Brights collection. And here they have returning. And luckily I had kept some of mine. So I didn't have to buy new ink pads. Um, they really kind of recommended that you did, that you buy new ink pads. But um, I was trying to save a little bit of money so I could get more stuff. Um, I'm going to have to buy the re-inker for the Pretty Peacock. They were kind of cautioning that sometimes the colors are off just ever so slightly. But I'm going to go for it and see. Now this one's brand new and it says new. That one's returning. So I had to go through and pull out the ones that retired so I could fill in. Like Misty Moonlight, I loved that color, so I was excited. And this pecan pie is yummy. You know, we've only had early espresso when chocolate chip retired, so a lot of uh, demonstrators were asking for some more brown. Yes, we have crumb cake, but it's not rich enough for some things. Then when you get to the Regals collection, you have two. Both of them were returning. And when you get to Subtles, you have two new ones and two returning ones. So they called Fresh Free Show returning because, you know, it was in the In Color collection that just retired. So they pulled it from that collection and put it in the Subtles. Love it. Love that color. Lost Lagoon is coming back. Lemon, Lolly, and Bubble Bath. So the Subtles collection, uh, it's, it got four. So I guess it got the biggest refresh. This one had three. This one has two. But that's that's a cool way to know, you know, if you do have all the stamp pads, which ones are new, which ones are returning. So they have... Um, they offer you bundles, like you can buy the in color bundle of the five pads. You do get a 10% savings when you do that. Like the new core colors, if you wanted one pad of each of those, you could buy it as a bundle. You can get the uh, stamp and write markers for that new core collection. And they, they don't offer the bundle for the ink refills, so you have to kind of purchase them individually if you buy this bundle of new core colors. So um, the Stampin' Right markers you can purchase as one big bundle, and you get a 10% savings when you do. So for the watercolor pencils, they retired one of the assortments because they were going to have new colors and they are offering a new assortment and they're calling it assortment one. So I kind of overlooked that. Anything that has the little square with the end, those are new. So when you look at this page, um, that scallop gift box, unfortunately right now is hung up in the delays of shipping and ordering that it's just ongoing, y'all. It's just ongoing. And it's so random. They had that. Um, they had... They, they were, Well, I'll get to it when I get over here in the, some of the accessories. And the cutest little... Um, I'm not going to be able to tell you what it is right now. You know, there is the um, index in the back. What do they call that? Tools. Multi-purpose tools. Let's see if that's what page it's on. 145. Take your pick crafter tips. So it's some more attachments for the take your pick tool. The cutting blade. 
um, a rotary perforating tip. They call that a hobby blade pick tip. So it's something similar to this that's sharp on both ends. It's currently hung up and not available. But uh, I will get that whenever it comes in. Then we transition to all the papers. If they coordinate with a suite, uh, it'll, it'll tell you that. Occasionally, they'll have a freestanding pack of paper. This pack is 48 sheets. They are 12 by 12. So that's um, a great value if you're needing to make a lot of cards and you need a lot of paper that coordinates. That's your pack. And you can see it coordinates with a ton of colors. This Let's Go Fishing. There's the Let's Go Fishing suite on page 78 and 9. Uh, you'll, you'll be seeing that because I'll get that. I just kind of have to go slow. Can't get it all. The Vellum Basics pulled forward. Um, it's, it's hard to see in the picture. That's one of those that you really need in your hot little hands. This Gold Celebration Specialty Paper is the one that coordinates with the um, circle sayings. And I've used it on a card. You'll get to see that card. The In Color Designer Series Paper Assortment. If I had had those, I would have put them on my card. But it worked out really great the way I did it. So then there are Memories and More. They have the uh, Bright and Beautiful Memories and More Cards and Envelopes. Those are two different sizes of cards. But that's a great start uh, if you need uh, card bases. I'm going to... Sneeze. Sorry. Excuse me. And then your per your paper crafting stuff. Then the embellishments. And once again, anything that has the little N is new. So I was looking at that last night making my list since the annual catalog is live. We get to order everything now. The pre-order, they offered us uh, sweets or bundles and a limited selection of products. So now it's like a shopping frenzy for us also. Then um, these are the new punches that coordinate with different stamp sets and bundles. It's kind of neat how they um, feature them with the product that they coordinate with. These are freestanding. I um, don't think this elegant edge tag topper is new because it's got the end height. A lot of these you've seen and maybe have in your collection already. So, did you notice the blue mini, the boho blue mini cut and emboss machine? You may purchase it while supplies last because uh, it got hung up in the shipping snafus during celebration so by the time it came in celebration was over so they have overstocked on those and they're they've opened it up for people everybody everybody can purchase it now you didn't have to join to get it but that's okay those people who joined got a great deal because it was free for them at that time so what they do with these uh, the dies that coordinate any of the new ones they pull them out and feature them individually like this. And then you can see there are several pages. The one I'm interested in this Lazy Days. I think that one's going to be pretty fun to play with. It has this porch lattice and the rocking chairs and the uh, different details. Zany Zoo. I can't talk myself into that one yet. But when I need kid cards, I'm like, why didn't I get that? So these, like this one is new. It's a doily hybrid folder. So that means that it can cut parts of this out at the same time that it embosses it. Those are pretty fun. I've had a couple of them. And you can run them through one time and you've got your doily all cut out and embossed. This one is new. This nested essentials is new, and it doesn't, excuse me, coordinate with anything else, but it'll say, see these dies in use on page 26. So, 
I'm going to waste a lot more of your time. Okay, now we're to the embossing folders. This one, the Countryside Blossoms, is in that Countryside Suite. The exposed brick is going to be awesome. I love the texture of that. That's the stripes and splatters that I used on the card. So usually they f here are your host uh, rewards uh, stamp sets two different stamp sets this time sometimes they offer paper but they didn't then your your accessories index is separate from your stamp index so if you know the name of the stamp you can look it up and it tells you what page and how much it is so um, I use this one a lot because I'm like okay I know what the stamp name is but what page is it is it on so I uh, wanted to show you a couple more things. Of course, I get mine bound. Uh, we have a printing company in town. What's Office Supply and Printing? And um, they will bind it. They put a shiny cover on it. But for this, I was like, yeah, that shiny cover is not working real great. I was going to show you one of the kits because I'm about the kits the same way I'm about the paper. Sometimes you see it and you're like, yeah, that's pretty. But until you see it in person, this kit is called Forever Friends. And I purposely did not open it so I could open it for you. It is what we call an all-inclusive kit. It has the stamp block. It has an ink spot. It has adhesive. So if you are just an occasional crafter and you're looking for easy without having to accumulate a lot of supplies. These kits are the way to go. You get to stamp, you get to make cards. Um, get this out. Pretty sure you make nine cards with this one. The uh, instructions are right here. Come on. Got my fingernails done and they're always too thick. It'll tell me here. Mm. This one makes eight cards and you have eight envelopes. The instructions are kind of step by step. It shows you the different pieces that you need to make each card. How much thread or twine you're going to need. They kind of suggest um, how to place it on your label. They, they kind of suggest how to put your adhesive on. You have plenty. I've never run out, but you could if you if you just didn't pay attention and use tons of it on a couple of cards. Then by the time you get to the end, you might run out. But it should be enough. So you have your plot, you have your stamps. You can do hard things. I'm always here for you, no matter what. Nobody gets me like you get me. Forever friends and sending lots of hugs. And then your, your different parts for the cards. The envelopes coordinate. And look, they have foil stripes on them. That'll put your eyes out. You have your um, strips of adhesive because these are bigger pieces and they're, it's more effective to use strips instead of the individual dimensionals like we usually use. So some of the cards have foil, some of them are just plain, but by the time you get through decorating, you have plenty of labels. Even if you mess one up, there's usually one extra. So these kits are online. If you just go to my store, you search kits. There are, there are lots of them. Oh, your twine. Lots of them. And they released a new one yesterday that's on my order for the next time. So... That was what I wanted to show you. Just wanted to do the walkthrough. Show you the few things that I have. Some sneak peeks of some cards. Uh, let me know if you need any help. If you need a catalog, please let me know. Because I will be more than happy to mail you one. Uh, if you don't have a demonstrator that you order with, I would love for you to order with me. So until next time, that's all for now. Y'all have a great day.